If now I compare the electric force with the gravitational force, so I divide one by the other, notice that the d cancels. They both have d squared downstairs. And so you will easily be able to show that this ratio is roughly 10 to the 36. So the electric force is 36 orders of magnitude more potent than the gravitational attraction. This teaches you some respect, perhaps, for 802. If these were the only forces that acted on the protons, and you bring them in the nucleus, which has a size of only 10 to the minus 12 centimeters, then the acceleration that the proton will experience is the electric force divided by the mass of the proton, F equals ma, basis of eta 1. And if you take this electric force, when you make d, 10 to the minus 12 centimeters, which is 10 to the minus 14 meters, and you calculate this ratio, you will find that it is 26 orders of magnitude higher than the gravitational acceleration on Earth. 26 orders of magnitude higher. So you wonder what the hell holds the nucleus together if there is such a tremendous force on these protons. Well, what is holding them together are the nuclear forces, which we do not fully understand, but thank goodness the nuclear forces are not part of 802. So I'll leave that alone for now. So what holds our world together? Well, on the nuclear scale, 10 to the minus 12 centimeters, very important are the nuclear forces. On an atomic scale, up to thousands of kilometers, it's really electric forces that hold our world together. But on a much larger scale, planets and stars and the galaxy, it is gravity that holds our world together. And now you may say, Ah, that's very inconsistent with what you just told us, because didn't you tell us that D cancels if you compare gravity with electricity? Yes, however, most objects are neutral or very close to neutral. And so if you take the Earth, it is very unlikely even that the Earth as a whole would have a charge of more than 10 coulombs. That probably is already an exaggeration. So if I take the Earth and I take the Moon and I put on both a charge of 10 coulombs, here's the Earth and here's the Moon, and I put, say, just arbitrarily 10 coulombs here and let us put on here either minus, minus 10 coulombs, so they will attract each other. But given their distance, it's almost nothing. The force is negligibly small, but of course, the force of gravity, which is proportional to their masses, wins. And in this particular case, if you take the Earth and the Moon, the gravitational force wins over the electric force by 25 orders of magnitude. So even though our immediate surroundings are dominated by electric forces, including your own body, for that matter, the behavior of the universe on a large scale is dictated by gravity.